That video just released capturing an extraordinary moment of crisis. It shows a killer whale at SeaWorld turning on and terrorizing the man who had been her performing partner and trainer for more than a decade. She grabbed him, dragged him underwater, twisted him, and tonight we're going to tell you what the trainer did to survive. Here's ABC's Matt Gutman. It's a deadly ballet. This killer whale grabbing trainer Ken Peters by the feet. 5,000 pounds of muscle, teeth the size of bananas. Thad Lucinic has trained these animals for 35 years. It wasn't like she was biting down because if she would have, she would have bit his foot off. It's one of those things that the animal understood that she was pulling him underwater. She is Kisatka. It's November 2006 in San Diego. You see her dragging Peters down, ragdolling him holding him under. 15, 30, 60 seconds pass. Scientists we spoke to today say there are dozens of games that whales like to play, but this time she's using Peters as a toy. Whales in captivity are taught that humans are fragile. That has clearly broken down here. Next, you see her bringing him up to the surface, allowing him to gasp for air. She dunks him three more times, the whale exerting her control. Well, if she wanted to kill him, she would have killed him. It's a killer whale. They're the top predator in the ocean. Case in point, these whales hunting for seals in the shallows and playing, flipping seals dozens of feet in the air. But Peters is trained. Watch him caressing the whale, actually cooing to her. We are taught to remain calm with the animals. If you get excited, the animal is going to get, get excited. That's why others don't jump to his rescue, because it would only excite the killer whale even more. She lets go. Peters eases down her back, past her dorsal fin. At the right moment, he makes a dash for it, tries to walk, feet collapsing. In a statement, SeaWorld said Tuesday, this video clearly shows the trainer's remarkable composure and the skillful execution of an emergency response plan. Peters returned to work shortly thereafter and remains a trainer to this day. Matt Gutman, ABC News, Miami.